guys. Let's get this project started. 50 more days until they turn truck meet. Spent some time with the family. Now we're working on the beasts. So got some, got all my interior parts all cleaned up, ready to go back in. So tonight's goal, I got a new head unit for it too. So we're gonna get to it. Tonight's goal is to try to get the head unit put in. Uh, there's some stuff on the front I need to fix, and hopefully get some interior panels back on. So I'm gonna get the truck move it over here and uh, get to work all right guys so getting it done <clears throat> I'm getting the radiator core uh, I'm ready to paint with POR 15 any surface rust spots I sanded them all down uh, I'm about to <clears throat> blow off the radiator support all down there along the bottom sanded all that down so we're gonna paint all that with POR 15 keep it from rusting um, you know paint shop the best way to do it is be like to replace the whole radiator sport you know take it all out so you're just talking more time so uh, I told him how to handle that it's not a big deal so I got everything sanded down there uh, I took a wire brush to everything that's surface rust I only had one little spot of rust where my battery leaked acid which kind of sucks so I'm gonna clean that up real good. It's down below. You can't really see it. So, kind of made it look the best I could. So, I'm gonna coat it all and uh, we'll get right back to it. So, see you guys in a second. Hi guys, what's up? So, here's what we got done so far. Got the whole radiator support coated in PR, POR 15. Let this dry for about, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes, and then I'll just look it over real good and go over any other spots that I see that are I missed. Try not to lay it on too heavy. But overall, it looks pretty good. You know, I'm not really worried about it being silver because you got your grill, you got your headlights, all that's going to be all covered up, your bumper, so, you know. That's why I told him just not to worry about disassembling the front end and painting it. I just told him I'd do it myself. So save a couple dollars and get her done. And then uh, go around here to the driver rear door. I had a little bit of rust right here inside where the door seal was. I put all the seals out and everything. So uh, I made sure I coated that real good and cut out the rust so you guys can see that on camera or not but I just trimmed out the rust and coated it the door seal will cover it you won't even see that so figured I might as well this door door jam looks pretty good so if you guys are just checking in uh, you can check out the video where I did the headliner install I just recently got the <clears throat> dome lights hooked up and working so they look all nice and pretty and then uh of course i got the cab lights on 
you guys haven't seen that video yet, go check that out. So, like smoked. Doing pretty good. So, if you guys are just checking in for the first time, this is my 1997 F250 four door. It's got a 460 big block in it. And, uh, been a project of mine for about 17-18 months and uh, finally got some color on it. Finally got the glass back in it and now we gotta get it ready for Daytona. So we're trying to still make it. Had some setbacks in my house. Leaking water so that kind of sucks. Takes away from my budget for this. But hey, gotta keep going. So it's late at night. I worked all day. Went home. Saw the family. And now I'm up here working on it, so I'm get back to it, and then uh, hopefully get some of this interior stuff put in, and go from there. So just wanted to give you guys an update while I'm working. Sorry, I haven't had uh, too much of the video of me painting, but I you guys are bored with that. So, all right, we're gonna get back to it, and then I'll show you guys what progress we make. All right, guys, so. Here's a progress. We're starting putting the interior panels back in. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera, but I'm gonna do this panel right here. Uh, I just wanted to show you on this other side. Let me walk around here real quick. So, when you put these panels in or take them out, uh, I just put all the door seals back in. So you gotta put the door seals in first if you're working on one of these older trucks because this panel actually wraps around the door seals. So what kind of sucks is if you ever need to replace these door seals, you're pulling these panels off. So just to hope that helps somebody out there. So if you're putting one of these interiors back together or taking one apart, you gotta pull that panel off to get the door seals out. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick on this side pretty much how it goes together. Basically your seat belt is right here. It's gotta come up through this hole and then it bolts up here. So um, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get it snapped on, snap in place, and then I'll uh, show you guys where it goes from there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna feed the seat belt up through the hole right there like that. And then pull the panel up against the side of the body. When you get your seatbelt fed through the hole, what you're going to do is see how the kind of locks right in that channel of the weather seal. So you're going to lock in one side, push it up. You know, it also holds up your headliner right here. And then come around to the other side. And you're kind of got to bend it back so it pulls this little seal out and then tap it in there. So also hold your door seal in like I said and then the bolt will line right up for the seat belt so all right guys keep cranking just figured uh I'd stop and do that real quick just because when I took it off took it all off I had to kind of figure it out so hope that helps you guys so I'm gonna get back to it all right guys so I'm probably gonna wrap this video up here it's late I gotta clean up but got all the interior panels off you need to do those middle ones first then these back ones and the front ones and the side ones so just gonna finish putting that front one on if you're new to the channel please subscribe to the channel for more on this OBS project and uh, appreciate everybody's support please give it a thumbs up button comment below let me know what you think about the truck we'll see you guys on the next video Sorry, this one's uh, not too exciting, but exciting enough. The truck's going back together, so looking good. And uh, appreciate everybody watching. See you guys on the next one. And uh, yeah, so we'll get the truck all ready to go. And I really appreciate it, guys. You guys have a great rest of the week. See you guys on the next video. Peace.